she's going she's holding her stem glass properly take a sip Lauren looking in the glass good girl you've taken your sip now you're going to place it back in position awesome American style dining let's pick up your knife and fork index fingers in place Beautiful. And we're cutting your chicken breast. Cutting gracefully. Wonderful. We're finished cutting that piece. What do we do with our knife? Put it at the center. At the top. Good. And then we switch our fork because you're right-handed, correct? Yes. If you were left-handed, what would you do? Just turn the fork around. And just keep it in your left hand, right? Okay, well, enjoy that portion. And how many pieces do we cut at a time on our plate? How many pieces do we cut at a time on? Only one, yes. You've enjoyed that portion. Now it's time to cut again. Switch our fork to our right, index finger in place. Index finger in place, beautiful. And we're cutting again. Good. All right, we're finished cutting that piece. Our knife goes to the? Good, you switch your fork to the right. And we enjoy that portion. Good. Now it's time to pause and get a drink. What do we do? Five o'clock position, excellent. We get your water goblet, holding it at the stem. You take a drink. And do you always look in your glass when you take a drink? Do you look in your glass when you take a drink? Yes. Good job. We place our glass back in position. Retrieve our knife. Switch your fork to the right. Retrieve the knife, index fingers in place, and we're cutting one last time. Good. We're finished cutting that piece. Place our knife where? Good. Switch our fork to the right hand. Enjoy that portion. And we're finished. Our finished position is? Excellent. Woo! Hi, everyone. This is Jackie Vernon Thompson, your etiquette consultant. Just want to give you a little tip when it comes to drinking from a stem glass. Yes, any glass that has a neck is called a stem glass. In this case, this is a water goblet. This is for water or juice. Now, the proper way to hold a glass is just like this. At the tip of our fingers, at the stem, just like this. We don't hold a glass like this. And we certainly don't hold it like this. The reason we don't hold it like this is because our hands will warm the beverage. So you don't want to change the temperature of the beverage. You want to hold it at the stem. Now, when you're drinking from a stem glass or when you're drinking from a teacup, anything, always look into the glass. Look into the cup because you want to pay attention to the flow of the beverage. I know there have been times you just take the glass or cup and just put it to your head, you're drinking, you're laughing, you're talking, next thing you know, it's dripping or it spills on your shirt, dress, or whatever you have, your top. That's because you're not paying attention to the flow of the beverage and you're not drinking gracefully. So next time, make sure you hold the glass at your stem when you're drinking, look into the glass to have that moderate flow of beverage and you'll have a great experience. Cheers to you. Oh, and by the way, when you're toasting, we don't knock glasses. We simply raise the glass to the host or raise the glass to the others in the room. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, I'm Jackie Vernon Thompson, your etiquette consultant with From the Inside Out School of Etiquette. I'm gonna give you just a little tip about this very small course when you're having multiple courses called sorbet. Sorbet is not for the filling, sorbet is simply to cleanse your palates. Now, as human beings, we have two palates. We have a hard palate and a soft palate. Let me tell you exactly where they are. Now place your tongue at the roof of your mouth where you feel that hardness up there. That's your hard palate. Now push your tongue to the back, past that little hump in the roof where it gets a little softer. That's your soft palate. Whatever you've eaten during your uh, dining experience lands not only on your tongue, but it goes on your palate. So let's say we're having multiple courses. I've had soup, I've had salad, the taste of the salad dressing, the taste of the soup, 
is on my palate. So in order for me to fully taste my entree, which is the largest course of my meal, I need to cleanse my palate. Therefore, I would ask for sorbet. Again, S-O-R-B-E-T, the T is silent. Now, they would not have sorbet in one, two, three-star restaurants. They may have it in a four-star restaurant, but I guarantee you they will have it in a five-star restaurant and higher. So, sorbet is usually served in a stem glass. Sometimes it's in a cute little bowl, that's fine. Your sorbet is to cleanse your palate. You would use your dessert spoon if they haven't provided a spoon for you. If it's in a stem glass, use your left hand if you're right-handed. Allow the stem to go between your two fingers, your third and fourth fingers, and you enjoy your sorbet. Usually you receive probably a one scoop, one scoop of sorbet because again, it's not for the filling and it's definitely not dessert. It's simply to cleanse your palate. So you enjoy it and then you leave your spoon in there. If you're left-handed, you place the stem on your right hand through your right fingers. Now, this is all about sorbet. So the next time, I challenge you, the next time you go into a five-star restaurant, ask them for sorbet to cleanse your palate. That's it for us. Thank you. European style? Oh, yeah. It's as far as it goes. European <laughs> style, we're cutting. We're finished cutting that piece. Okay. And we're cutting again. Finish cutting that piece. Okay, so you don't want to lay your hand on the table. You want your wrist to be there. Okay. Okay, very important. All right. And we pivot. All right, let's get some mashed potato on the, on the fork. Lower the fork a little. Okay, rest the wrist and pivot. The knife is some more mashed potato. Mm -hmm. Make sure you lower your knife. Yeah, rest good. the wrist. See, what you're doing is you're laying your hand on the table. Okay. It needs yes. to be the wrist. Okay. Or it could be your forearm if you're taller. Okay? okay? But the knife should be lowered. Okay? okay? All right. Let's get some rice on your fork. Good job. Good job. Let's get some more rice. All right, let's take a pause. Position. Pause. Pause. Good job. All right, let's take a drink. Looking in the glass. Good job. Now, our finished position, European style. Excellent job.